The haberdasher's range started with the island, um, and it started with a big block curved with two drawers and some doors at the bottom. Looked ugly, we changed it, looked ugly, changed it, looked even uglier. We changed it about a hundred times. And then all of a sudden, I thought, I've never seen a piece of furniture that looks like that. We had a piece of furniture that we loved. And we thought, right, what are our wall cupboards going to look like? It's going to be like a haberdasher shop. It's going to be all about display, so we want all glazed doors. And then we realised that not everyone wants to see everything in their kitchen. You've got tins of beans and tomatoes. So we needed panel doors, and we were looking for mid-century style. So I thought, well, let's try, like, these tambour-style doors. I always think that the haberdasher's furniture is a little bit less kitcheny, yeah. and because it's such a big space, Lee and Phillips' kitchen kind of lends itself to feeling a bit more of a living space or a library. This island, this huge, it just looks so impressive, doesn't it? When you're standing here preparing food, looking out through those doors down this garden, that's the dream, isn't it? 